Welcome back to Hannity. All right, former Obama CIA director and deep state actor John Brennan, he testified on the Hill yesterday in a closed door hearing about the infamous letter falsely claiming that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation. And according to the House Judiciary Committee chairman, Jim Jordan, his testimony confirmed it was all a political stunt. Take a look at this. He set for a four-hour interview, Jesse, and he further confirmed that this thing was all political. We expect public servants not to use their title to influence an election. And it was so political when it was all done, this talking point they wanted to give Joe Biden for that final debate with President Trump, it was so political. Now, his testimony comes on the heels of a disturbing report this week that active uh, CIA employees may have been working to find more officials, former officials, to sign on to the phony letter. Here with react, uh, Reaction, JustTheNews.com editor-in-chief John Solomon and Fox News contributor Miranda Devine. John, let's start with you. Um, well, I guess this is the, the talking point they wanted to give Biden in that debate that was upcoming against yeah. Donald Trump. Uh, John Brennan, we know he responded he would sign on to this letter in 19 minutes when I believe it was Morell that wrote him. Yeah, listen, and, he, and Morell told him what his goal was. He wanted to give the debate or uh, the president a talking point, Joe Biden a talking point, to try to blunt what Donald Trump was going to say about the Hunter Biden laptop. It was all political. And we now know from the email exchanges, forget the testimony for a second, which is just as important. We know from the email exchanges this was a political operation. It was designed to impact the last job interview Americans got with their two presidential candidates and keep the Hunter Biden laptop from being considered by the American voter before the election. You know, and Miranda, it was your paper, the New York Post, that broke the Hunter Biden laptop story. You wrote the book, The Laptop from Hell. What's interesting, the level of involvement. Now we have the CIA involved in this. We have former intel officials involved in this. Uh, but we also know that the FBI was out there uh, meeting weekly with big tech companies, telling them they may be victims of a misinformation campaign that may be about Joe and Hunter Biden. Uh, but they had that laptop in December of 2019. And John Solomon told me this week that they had authenticated it in the spring of 2020. So they knew what they were doing. It seems like the FBI and the CIA were putting cinder blocks on the scales of a presidential election, doesn't it? Absolutely. They conspired with the Biden campaign to deceive the American voter. Um, and that, as Mike Pompeo said about the involvement of now we find out at least one CIA employee in soliciting signatures to sign that dishonest letter alleging that the laptop information was Russian disinformation. Uh, it, Mike Pompeo said that is dangerous for democracy. You, you see now we've got the CIA engaged in a political operation to rig the election. We also knew that the FBI was doing that because they pre-bunked our story. They knew it was coming because they were spying on Rudy Giuliani. So they went to big tech and in these weekly meetings they pre-bunked our story. They said expect a story about Hunter Biden to come in October. It's hacked information from the Russians. And, you know, I don't have any faith in John Brennan or James Clapper, who is also going to go and speak uh, in these closed-door sessions uh, with House Republicans, because they are trained liars. And we know that both John Brennan, the former CIA director, and James Clapper uh, have already lied before Congress, and there was never any sanctions for them. Uh, Mike Pompeo is right. This is really dangerous to have this kind of political activity going on inside the CIA and the FBI. And if there was one CIA employee, you know that there were others. Well, you got to ask, John, this is two presidential elections in a row where the deep state is. is involved, two with John Brennan, uh, and then, of course, I don't know if Clapper's involved in this. I would not be surprised. Uh, but if he goes I, in, if he, were, if he says, put my name on this after 19 minutes with no investigative work at all, no knowledge at all as to the veracity and authenticity of the laptop, uh, that is, is that not an in-kind donation to President Biden or then-candidate Biden? 
Well, that is the question that the Federal Election Commission currently is investigating. Just a few weeks ago, they told parties in the case that they have an open matter under review. That's a fancy word for the FEC saying it's under investigation, that this may count as a, uh, a political contribution uh, and it wasn't recorded or disclosed to the American public. So that investigation is ongoing. By the way, that, that opened just a couple of weeks before Jim Jordan and the House Intelligence Committee and others made these bombshell revelations. These revelations will inform that in a bigger way. I, I will make one other argument. It's actually three straight elections that the intelligence community uh, involved, got involved. In 2012, Mike Morrell, the same guy that in 2020 organized a letter in 2016, was the first intelligence official to come out and say Donald Trump might be a Russian asset. In 2012, as Barack Obama was trying to survive the Benghazi scandal and get reelected, he edited the talking points by his own testimony to take out the idea that it was a terror attack, which the CIA had confirmed, and instead leave the impression that maybe it was an anti-Muslim video going across Europe that did it. So three consecutive elections, we had manipulation by our intelligence community. All right. So, Miranda, we have former intel officials, uh, but one of the people that was involved in leading this effort uh, is the Secretary of State, and his name is Tony Blinken. Uh, he played a very big role in this. What should happen to him here? Well, he, perhaps to be impeached, at least to be shamed, he should not be in that job. Uh, when he was a, an advisor to Joe Biden in his campaign, he called Mike Morrell, and Mike Morrell has testified under oath that, that Blinken's uh, call to discuss the New York Post our story about the laptop was the impetus, was what triggered him to go and get that letter written. And uh, he also, Anthony Blinken, uh, sent to Mike Morell uh, a few hours after that phone call an article from USA Today uh, alleging that the FBI was investigating whether it was Russian disinformation. All of this was a lie. And in fact, John Ratcliffe, uh, then the DNI, he came out with a statement saying there is absolutely no evidence that this is anything to do with Russia, that this is a Russian plant or Russian disinformation. And that was in response to Adam Schiff and others of the 51 fanning out across the media to say that this looks like a Kremlin plot. That was our story. Wow. And that gave the fig leaf for the rest of the media to ignore our story. And it gave the fig leaf for big tech to bury it and censor it. John, thank you. Miranda, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.